everyone, so I'm here at the Boston Women's March. This is my friend Ashley. She hasn't been on my channel yet, but she'll probably be on more. Uh, and so we're here at the Boston Women's March. What do you think? Uh, it's really powerful so far. There's a lot of people. Um, it's a lot to take in, but it's incredibly moving. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. It's pretty crazy. Um, we're probably about 300 yards from the stage, give or take, maybe about a football field. Uh, there's a taiko drum group that's about to play. There's uh, 25 speakers, one of them including Liz Warren and uh, Maddie Walsh, because it'll be great. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good day. We're here with our school, Southern New Hampshire University. So this will probably go up when I'm back uh, around Wi-Fi. There is no cell phone service right now. Yeah. There's like too many So people. I probably won't post this until I get back. And you're probably hearing the drums right now because, yeah. This is pretty cool. So, but otherwise, it's very interesting. There's a whole bunch of people here. I'll probably cut together a video of, of all the stuff going on. But what made you want to come to the march today? Standing up for rights. I mean, that's why everybody's here. Pretty much. That's why we're all here. Uh, and I've done other political videos, I try not to, but sometimes I just have to rage quit at, you know, two in the morning, as you all know. But anyway, for everybody that can't be at a march, but, you know, wishes they could be. Um, um, in the words of my grandmother, I'm marching from home. So thank you everybody for marching from home or marching from wherever you're marching. Yeah, there's marches going around all over the world, which is crazy. Uh, they started... Uh, the 24-hour march basically, um, every hour a different march basically kicks off and the very first one was in Adelaide, Australia and they've been going strong ever since basically, it's crazy. Um, if you're interested, check out hashtag Women's March. Uh, I'm specifically in Boston, but the biggest is probably going to be in DC because there's a lot of rage there, uh, but you can look all over the country. So anyway, stay excellent, don't forget to be awesome, bye! Uh, this will be stitched together with my last video, even though I already said goodbye. Uh, there's just a lot of people here. Uh, this is only like an hour from the last time we tried to make a video, and there's just like twice the amount of people. I'll put up some pictures and link to them on Twitter um, of how big the crowds are from where I've been taking photos between the hill and a whole bunch of other things. But it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, and there's a lot of great signs once again. Uh, there's some great ones on the hill. I basically kind of figured out the map of this place, so uh, I keep having to tell people where the bathrooms are and the best, you know, ways in order to keep them safe, particularly because a lot of people have very, very small children, which is great because I think kids should kind of be involved in things very early on. So, yeah. Bye. Hey guys, so quick update. Um, the park's finally starting to empty out a whole bunch. Uh, this is kind of the tail end of the parade. Estimated 100,000 people in Boston, 100 plus thousand, and then a million in DC, and then that doesn't take into account all the people all around the world and those that didn't register for the event. So I need to go find my bus and my people um, back to New Hampshire, but stay tuned, you'll probably get this. I'll probably be on duty and sleeping by the time most of you watch this, but. This is everything from Boston so far. So stay excellent. Don't forget to be awesome.